Hello guys, it's your boy Dark Rain from MaddenOS.com and welcome to another episode of Madden 25 Ultimate Team guys and right now we're in week 9, we need to win this game in order to make it to the first round by in the playoffs, you know it was a great season, you know my teams have been playing great, we only had one loss in the uh, during the season and uh, you know that loss uh, pretty much you know suck in that game but you know it happens to everybody you know I'm, I'm not gonna win every game so you know in order as long as I make it to the playoffs I'm good guys so anyways uh, you know it's been pretty interesting day today uh, I think uh, I was shocked actually because the Buccaneers just traded Mark Barron to the, to the St. Louis Rams guys and the St. Louis Rams hasn't won a game either neither, neither the, has the Bucks has won on a game either so I think they won just two games or uh, one game I don't know I don't remember but anyways I'm shocked that Mark, Mark Barron left to the St. Louis Rams. I don't know what the Buccaneers were thinking. He's a good player, man. They should have just traded him to the Ravens. <laughs> but anyways, like I said, you know, I can't believe they traded they traded him to the Rams. And uh, you know, this this they're saying something, guys. The Buccaneers are in rebuilding mode, and uh, I think Vincent Jackson is also going to be out of the game as well because I think in the offseason they're going to go ahead and trade him uh, for picks or something, guys. Because I don't think. That team needs Vincent Jackson. They also have Mike Evans. So, you know, I think he's going to be the number one receiver by next year. And uh, we'll see what happens this offseason. I still don't know what free agents are going to be next year available. But, you know, like I said, it's going to be pretty interesting just like last year, guys. So, anyways, also, guys, you know, I'm watching the T right now on ESPN. And they're saying that they're going to create playoffs for the college football, guys. It's going to be pretty interesting. You know, they, they still said that they're going to have bowl games, but I think they should just get rid of them, you know, because it's not fair, guys. Every year we see Alabama go, Auburn, uh, Oregon, who else? I don't know who else goes, but, you know, we're tired of it, man. And I'm pretty glad that they're making this playoff bracket because now there's going to be a lot of uh, underdogs, you know, going around there. So, you know, hopefully we'll, we'll see what happens this year. And uh, at six, I think at 6.30 they're going to uh, put out the, br the bracket. So, I think they're going to make it something like college basketball. So it's going to be pretty interesting. So anyways, uh, my team has been playing uh, pretty good as well. You know, I have CJ mostly 84 overall. I think it was the player of the week or uh, team of the week, something like that. And, uh, you know, he's a good pickup, guys. He's real cheap. He's 5,000 coins. So you need a middle linebacker. I recommend him to get him because, you know, he's a pretty good player, man. I remember when the Ravens drafted him. I didn't thought he was going to be good at the beginning. But, you know, once I started seeing him playing, man, this guy's a beast, man. I can't believe it. Uh, you know, he's that good. So anyways, right there, I threw a pick by because I was being dumb, you know, just forcing it right there. I should have just kept running the ball, you know. I just went out of my scheme. And I you know, started getting confident, confident, guys, because, you know, I was 21-0. So anyways, like I said, CJ Mosley gets another pick right there, you know. And as you can see in every game, I get a pick with CJ Mosley. Now, I don't know right now how many picks does he have, but I think he has like 20, man. And I also have a franchise that I have, you know, the MX FL. You know, also have uh, have CJ mostly in second place for the most interceptions in the NFL in the, in the in the league. So it was pretty crazy. Anyways, uh, right here we're twenty one zero guys. You know, my opponent has no uh, answer back. You know, just running the ball right there with Nile Davis. You know, I think Nile Davis is gonna stay there for a long time until I get Jamal Charles, guys. And, you know, my next goal is to get Jamal Charles, get better in the running back position. Even though Nile Davis is breaking tackles, spinning move. Look at this juke right there, juking everybody. Look at this, take it all the way to the house. So like I said, I really want to get Jamal Charles, guys. And also, I was doing, uh, uh, you know, collectibles as well. You know, I was collecting for a large uh, quick sale. And, uh, you know, I collected every every freaking card, guys. I collected everything and I said, you know, either give me a thousand coins or give me a million coins. So, you know, I, just, I got interested. I started uh, gathering all the freaking uh, coins, guys. And, uh, you know, unfortunately, I got 10,000 coins. This is the, pretty much the stupidest thing I ever done in MUT guys I'm never gonna do that shit again I hate collecting uh, you know coins and badges and all that stuff I'm never gonna do that again again you know I wasted a lot of freaking coins you know and wasted my time guys so I'm pretty pissed off I think EA should just give us better uh, you know stuff guys and come on you made me waste almost like 30 40 thousand coins I could have bought like 10 players right there and just for 10,000 coins it's pretty much not worth it guys so you you just need to be careful with that stuff with the sets because they pretty much don't give you anything so anyways 28-0 guys you know which he's just running the ball to the outside you know he has no answer back which is getting hit stick right there 30 seconds to go 
and uh, you know he's trying to, uh, to score and right there we bet the ball down to the floor and uh, you know he goes for it so he's gonna throw the screen to the left side and we managed to get the ball back so that's pretty much it guys you know my opponent uh, you know, pretty much has no answer back and right there, I'm just throwing the ball, uh, which is pretty dumb. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, share our video, like our video as well. You know, any questions, guys, just go ahead and put it in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to visit MaddenOps.com and Madden Battles as well. Until later, guys, your boy, Dark Ray.